Hello everybody and welcome to a brand new PowerPoint game. So today's game is something quite special. Uh, this is the Kubo and the Two Strings PowerPoint game. Um, if you don't know this movie or haven't seen this movie, I can highly recommend it. It is made by a production company called Leica and they make stop animation movies. In fact, they don't have many movies actually. The, this is one of the best ones they've made in uh, my personal opinion. So let's get straight into it. And um, there is the trailer for this movie in the beginning of this game. If you want to show this, you can. I'm just gonna skip past this. So this is the uh, introduction slide. Um, this runs for about a minute maybe. I'm just gonna skip past that. So this is the Kubo and the Two Strings English game. And it also explains the point system in this game. Please go ahead and use this if you want to. I'm going to skip this because I'm going to be explaining uh, how this game works and how the points work anyway. So here we are. I've put a lot of effort into this game and um, tried to learn a few new tricks and skills. So hopefully this game is going to be quite exciting to play. I have played it once so far myself. It went down very well. So let's choose number one. As always, this is a template. Uh, write in your question and uh, paste in a picture in the middle there and show the answer. Use the space bar or click the mouse. So question number one, um, the character Kubo is worth one point each and there are five points here. Then these, uh, these Kubo characters disappear. This game is a little bit different. There's a challenge. So if you choose no, you'll go to the points counter and you won't get a challenge. However, if you choose yes, which I'm gonna do now, click on yes, and there's going to be uh, well, an extra chance to uh, get some points or lose some points. So we have one and two. Uh, we have Kubo's mother there and we have the monkey. All you need to do is just don't click on the, the character there. Just click on the edge here. This will uh, reveal the points there. One, two, three, four, five points on uh, number one. And then on the click number two here. Yeah, so we've got the, the evil uh, witchy sisters here. These are minus points, a total of minus five points there. Yeah, this game can be a little bit scary, so maybe not so much for younger learners. Uh, click on the background. This is gonna take you to the points counter. So we've got some new stuff going on here. So for example, you could put in five points. However, it may be the case that you have minus five points. So when I played one of my other games, I ran into a problem where we had a minus point situation, but the points counter doesn't take into consideration minus points, but now it does. All you need to do is click on the plus symbol here, and that will turn to a minus. Click on the minus, it will turn back to a plus. Okay, so that's working on all of these. This is a nice addition. I'll probably try and add this to all of my games, the, the older games, when I have time. So all you need to do, click on the background or click on the Kubo character here. That will take you back to the main question uh, slide screen. Um, let's choose another one, number three. If you must blink, if you must blink do, it now. do it now. So question and answer. This um, PowerPoint has a lot of uh, video files embedded, hence the very large size. I will try and compress the file of this so you can have a smaller size with slightly less quality if, if you need a smaller size and not such a big size as this one is. Anyway, this is the change points slide. This changes everything. Change points. This is quite a long slide. <laughs> Runs on for a while, so please wait a moment. So what I found with a lot of games that when you go to change points, sometimes the team is the winning team. They have the most points, they get change points, and they decide they don't want to change points. Uh, you can make a rule that they must change points, or you can make a rule that they don't have to. I usually make a rule that they don't have to change points. So if the winning team gets to change points slide, they can have this challenge. There's a chance to uh, do some more points. So let's click on yes. And it's the same again. Got number one and number two. So just click on number one here. Okay, so same here, five points. On some of the other slides, they're switched around, or they're more, more points or less points. And number two, 
we got those um, witchy sisters again. So all we need to do is just click on the background. That will take you to the points counter. You can put in the points, choose whether it's minus or plus. Click on the Kubo character or the background. Takes you back to the main question slide. Uh, let's do lucky number seven. Question and answer. We've got another video file here. Uh, here is Beetle. And um, yeah, he's gonna kind of activate this um, scary skeleton guy. And this one is uh, minus seven points. It's minus seven points. You can change that if you want to, change it to five or 10. Um, if, if you want to change anything in this game, you can. Click on the background, takes you to the uh, points counter here. Click on the Kubo character, takes you back to the main question slide. Let's choose number eight. Question and answer again. This time, find the sword unbreakable. <laughs> this is a great moment in this movie. Looking for the sword unbreakable, where is it? Which one is it? It should be one that's unbreakable. And that's it. Here it is. You found it. Well done. Thank goodness that's over. And I've um, put this one up as 10 points, okay? So all you need to do again is click on the uh, background of this animated GIF. Takes you to the points counter. You can put in whatever points you want. Remember, it's plus and minus option is available. Click on the Kubo character. Go back to the main question slide. Now let's choose number nine. Got a lot of questions to choose in uh, this video. It's a nice short uh, video here. Don't mess with a monkey. Don't mess with no monkey. And this is only worth one point. Just put that in there for a bit of fun. I, lo I love this uh, monkey uh, gif that came up there. Okay, and uh, just click anywhere on the background of this final image. That takes you to the points counter. Click on Kubo or the background. Takes you back to the main question slide. Let's choose number 10. Question and answer again. So question 10 has got minus points. Uh, this is the very scary uh, witchy character. Just wait a moment for the final image to come up. And when this image comes up here, just click anywhere on this image, the background of this image, and that will take you back to the main points counter. Click on the background or click on Kubo, takes you back to the main question slide. Uh, let's choose number 11, 711. Do it now. And this one's a really cool one. This is from the end of the movie. So I've edited down the, the video here. Ah, yeah. This is the Moon King. This is the Moon King that he's uh, fighting at the end of the movie. And it really is the least of it. He uses a bit of music power here to defeat the Moon King. And this is one, this one's gonna be worth a magical 12 points. So click on the background of this animated GIF or click on the monkey if you want to. It will take you to the points counter, put in your points, click on the Kubo character or click on the background takes you back to the main question slide. I'm gonna choose number 12, question and answer. So this is the, um, the choice slide. And in the choice slide, um, just show you how to do this. So don't click on the character, there's no link there. You need to click outside. So it's best just to come onto the edge of the rectangular rounded box. Click like this and then you'll reveal, uh, there'll be short video files behind each one of these. So there's the 12 points. Let's go to number two here. Just go to the edge, anywhere on the edge, there's the link. And then we've got the minus five points there. Uh, number three here, we're monkey. Uh, we've got another video file here. And um, yeah, this is the sword unbreakable. So number four, I have to say the link is a bit more difficult to find on this one. So my advice is to come to the right hand side you'll find the link easily on the, on the right hand side or anywhere just, just outside of the Beetle character, but go on the right hand side, you'll find the link easily. Click on that. Okay, and then you're gonna reveal the points. So uh, this one is to change points. Edited a shorter video file for this one. Change points and then click on the background or you can click on monkey if you want to. And that will take you back to the points counter. You've got the plus and minus option there available if you need it. Click on Kubo or the background to go back to the main question slide. 
Wow, we've done a lot here. Where are we at now? Let's do number 13. This is really is quite a, a big game, actually. So question 13, there's only one slide that's like this. This is where Kubo is fighting the Moon King, who's turned into a, a very big, scary, snaky dragon. Kicks him off like this. Oh, no. And um, there you go. Yeah, minus 10 points. So this game has a lot of ups and downs, a lot of, a lot of plus points, a lot of minus points. So uh, it makes the game quite exciting, to be honest. Uh, click on the background. That will take you back to the points counter and then just click on Kubo or the background there. Takes you back to the main question slide. So what's left to do? The final one now, number 14. If you must blink, do it now. now. So question and answer, as always, it's a template and click on the space bar, use the mouse. So this one is a really, really nice video file. This is from the beginning of the movie and the sisters are coming after Kubo. Mother comes to the rescue, mother power. And um, yeah, she fights these, uh, these sisters. So I put this one down as the bomb. So there you go, so the bomb, you can make it so the team that gets this one, they lose all of their points. And that is it. I'm going to click on the background of the uh, animated GIF at the end here. And that's going to take us to the points counter. Click on Kubo or the background. That's going to take us to the main question slide. Whew, I had to speak very quickly because there was a lot to get through on this one. So I think that is about everything. Um, it is a very media intensive game. So please check how it runs on the computer that you're working with. I will make a compressed version of this later. So if you don't have a lot of space on your computer or you're working with an older computer, you can use a, a version that's a smaller size and hopefully runs a little bit faster. But yeah, it looks hopefully like it's going to be a good game. Um, please comment about it. Actually, I just noticed that there's one I didn't show. Actually, question 21. Um, sorry, let me just go back in because I didn't show. There's one last thing I didn't show. So there is this extra one I would like to show, number 21, question and answer. I really wanted to get a film grab, a short video file of this part of the movie where uh, Kubo is doing his storytelling time and we have this chicken. And there's a slightly scary scene here coming up. He uh, <laughs> cuts the chicken there. Oh my. And um, I put this in to make the game a bit more interesting. There are two slides like this, steal five points, okay? So you can steal five points from the other team. Just click on the background, takes you to the points counter, takes you back to the main question slide. So that is it, that is everything. I cannot think of anything else I need to say. Um, please comment about this game. What do you think? Is it absolutely terrible? Is it? crazy is it good is it exciting and um, yeah give it a go give it a go see um, see what happens uh, you might be surprised how many students have actually seen this film or know about this film anyway thanks so much if you took the time to listen to me talking and watch this video i really hope that you enjoy your teaching and i hope that this game reaches many places around the world and is of use to everybody and anyone out there take care Jauga, bye bye